are you saying, Madhu Yaksh Gaud, that the MLA stand guilty of defying, uh, defying the Congress High Command decision, that this was a spontaneous decision to resign taken by the other Andhra Pradesh MLAs? Is that what we have to understand today? Congress was never delayed. People had a faith in the Srimati Sonia's leadership. It is the only leader after Mahatma Gandhi and Dev Prakash Narayan who refused to become a Prime Minister. The Andhra people always stood by the Congress and leadership of Srimati Sonia Ji and Dr. Manmohan Singh. In the last election also, the people never felt it's a delay. It is a central government program and state government welfare programs and also people have trusted the formation of Telangana is only possible by the Congress party. It is a national party which can give Telangana. So people believe that the Srimati Sonia Ji will give Telangana and they voted for a Congress. That's why even I won the election. I said it is Congress, it's a development and also Telangana, it is only possible through the Congress. All That's right. how people trust it and youth leadership of Rahul Ji travel across the state. Right. If, I could, if I could come to you, Dr. Sanjay Baru, you've been part of UPA 1. Uh, is the sense you're getting after listening to all of this that the government really put the cart before the horse, that it, uh, it announced this decision in just too much of a hurry? Well, I think that's what it appears to be. I mean, I am from Telangana. Let me say that I share entirely the sentiment of the people of neglect over, over the years. The region of this state has not benefited from the state's performance. So I completely share the sentiment of, of a large number of people from Telangana that the region has been neglected. But I think the way in which the whole issue has been handled uh, is I, indeed has been messy. When you say that, uh, uh, Dr. Maru, let, you know, you, you, no one knows Andhra Pradesh as well as you do in terms of the political economy. You say you, uh, you share the uh, uh, sentiment of the people of Telangana, but is A, Telangana viable? And B, the big question that our people are asking, will Hyderabad, must Hyderabad then be part of this state? That Those are the ticklish issues that are not resolved, which is why the feeling is that this decision was taken in a hurry simply because KCR was on fast. That's right, because you know, when I said I share the sentiment of the people, I'm talking of the feeling of neglect, of backwardness. But the solution to that backwardness need not necessarily be the creation of a state. There are a lot of states in this country which are very backward because they're an independent state, whether it's in the Northeast or Jharkhand or Chhattisgarh or even Bihar, large states. Because they're an independent state, they've not become developed. So I don't know if creating a separate state is a solution to the real problem of backwardness. On the other hand, on the question of Hyderabad, look, Hyderabad is one of the oldest cities in peninsular India. It's a 400-year-old city, and it's been the lifeline of the economy of that entire region. And I think it's emerging as a major metropolis. Don't forget that after independence, it was called India's second capital. The president of India used to spend every summer at the Rashtrapati Nilayam in Hyderabad. It was a practice given up only about 20 years ago. So Hyderabad was seen as a second capital of India, as the most important center of, of economic and you know, cultural activity in peninsular India. So I think that city has a status which is far different from that of a normal state capital. Right. Uh, and of course, Hyderabad now at the center of that debate. Tom Gadakan, how, how do you explain uh, up till a year ago, you didn't think Telangana, your government didn't think Telangana was viable, even though TRS was your ally, even though you'd promised uh, uh, Telangana for five years that you would give them a separate state. It didn't seem like a viable option. It became viable only overnight. That's the accusation against you. I think that's not correct. The only position that the Cong it is the only Congress party which took a position from the very beginning that this has to be settled through consensus. It was the personal opinion of the Congress party was kept aside. The party's position was a consensus must emerge. Now let us examine the ground reality. The so-called parties which had agreed on consensus in Parliament are having a t are taking a 24 hours reversal. Fair